Hello guys, I am Abhijit Bhaikarikar from All About Structural Analysis and uh, Design. So in today's lecture, we will see how to find out the center of gravity of a T-section. Okay, the plane figures such as triangle, quadrilateral, circle or combination of all the things have only areas but not mass and the center of area of such figure is known as centroid or center of gravity. So in today's lecture, we will see how to find out the center of gravity of a T-section. So this entire lecture I have divided into three parts. So this will be the first part. Part 1 which will be telling you the section symmetrical about y axis. Part 2 symmetrical about x axis. And part 3 sim uh, not symmetrical or unsymmetrical about both the axis. So this is the simple T section I have taken. Okay. The dimensions I have given for top flange and the web. Okay. So whatever you see this uh, head part it is known as top flange and this uh, bottom part is known as web the width of the top flange is 100 mm depth is 30 mm so web width is 30 mm and the entire height of the t section they have given is 150 mm okay so the as the section is symmetrical about y axis bisecting the web it means that if you cut the figure from the web it will uh, the both the sides will coincide means BC will coincide with AD and FH will coincide with AG when you bisect the web and fold this figure okay similarly if you try to do with the x-axis it will not coincide so it means it is unsymmetrical about x-axis and it is symmetrical about y-axis uh, due to the symmetrical about uh, y-axis the center of gravity will lie on x -ax, uh, sorry y-axis so whatever the center of gravity we will be calculating it will be lying on this y axis so for uh, proceeding this problem we have to split up the t section into two rectangles correct so the first rectangle will be a b c d the top flange and the next rectangle will be e f g h will be the web right first thing you have to find out is area of the first rectangle that is a b c d i have marked here rectangle 1 and rectangle and the area of a b c d i have denoted as uh, small a1 so area is b into d so breadth into depth 100 into 30 which will give you 3000 mm square area and the coordinate of y1 which is nothing but coordinate of this particular rectangle a b c d before that one i have to tell you the about uh, axis of reference for this figure, I have taken axis of reference as the bottom uh, of this particular figure. X, X, I have taken this as axis of reference. So one thing I have to tell you that the axis of reference or uh, reference axis is generally taken as the lowest line of the figure for calculating Y bar and left hand side line of the figure for calculating X bar. X bar and Y bar is nothing but centroid or center of gravity. So if you are uh, calculating y bar, then you have to take the lowest line of the figure. So I have taken this lowest line of the figure as axis of rec uh, reference that is xx. And if you are calculating about to x axis, uh, which is symmetrical about x axis, which you will see in the next part of the uh, lecture, that time you have to take the left hand side of that particular figure. So here we have taken symmetrical about y axis. That's why the lowest line of the figure will be taking as axis of reference. So for this will be helpful while calculating this coordinate y1, y2, etc. So with this help uh, of this particular reference axis, you have to calculate the uh, coordinate y1. So what I have written is 150 minus 30 by 2. We are finding out the coordinate of this particular rectangle and we are going from top uh, bottom most line of this particular figure so entire 150 i have mentioned here correct so entire 150 minus 30 by 2 one more thing you have to remember is uh, the centroid of a rectangle will be b by 2 and d by 2 in this particular figure it will be d by 2 so this is 30 mm so 30 mm d by 2 is nothing but 30 divided by 2 so the entire 150 minus d by 2 that is 30 by 2 will be getting 
135 mm so the coordinate of this particular rectangle abcd will be 135 mm because we are moving from the bottom line if you are coming from top line then it will become only d by 2 which is 30 mm but we are following one procedure that is the axis of reference is taken from the bottom most part that's why 150 entire minus d by 2 that is 30 divided by 2 so it will become 135 mm so the next part is area of the web efgh which i'll be denoting as a2 it is nothing but 30 mm into 120 mm how 120 means this entire thing is 150 you have to just minus it by this particular uh, depth of the flange that is 30 mm 150 minus 30 will be 120 mm so 30 into 120 is 3600 mm square so the coordinate of y2 again from the bottom most part because the axis reference is from bottom most part of this figure so now entire 150 we cannot take entire 150 was for the whole t section so y2 will be 120 divided by 2 we are finding out the coordinate y2 of this particular web e f g h so the uh, depth of this particular web will be 120 mm 120 means 150 minus this 30 so the depth of this web will be 120 so directly 120 divided by 2 which is 60 mm so the, now the center of gravity of a given rt section is given by y bar is equals to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 a1 we have uh, calculated y1 we have calculated a2 and y2 also we have calculated so all the quantities we have calculated just substitute all the quantities in this particular formula the substitution i have shown here and uh, simplification of this substitution also i have shown here so the entire uh, thing if you divide you will be getting this uh, center of gravity y bar is 94.09 mm okay along the y axis from the bottom most part so the center of gravity or centroid of this particular t section will lie 94.09 mm from this bottom most part of this reference axis somewhere it will lie here okay so i hope uh, this uh, calculation is clear uh, you can just comment in the comment uh, section if you have uh, not understood anything or if you want more clarification you can just comment in the section and also if you have understood how to calculate just like this video share this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and uh, design and also don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos regarding civil and structural engineering thank you guys